residual magnetism occurs when a magnet fails to turn completely off. The magnetic flux is a result of a circuit being created between the rare earth magnets inside and the steel body of the magnet. The level of residual magnetism depends on the shunting technology and the overall design of the magnet. These next three magnets are a good example of residual magnetism found in lifting magnets and why magnets with no residual magnetism are the safest option. The first magnet has quite extreme residual magnetism, which will cause the magnet to collect ferrous particles and debris. If not removed, this debris will likely cause an air gap on subsequent lifts and may permanently score the magnet. This can significantly derate the magnet's safe working load and the magnet could fail a pole test. There are high risks of hand injuries if the operator uses their hands to separate the magnet from the load. Material being handled will also be damaged by any debris stuck to the magnet. The second magnet shown is a good quality passive shunting magnet. It has a small amount of residual magnetism, although not enough to risk hand injuries. This type of magnet will still require regular inspection for debris. However, you can expect it to collect much less than the first magnet. This third magnet uses active shunting technology, which allows it to be turned 100% of the way off. This is the safest type of magnet and is also unlikely to collect any ferrous debris. In the event of damage to the working surface, replacement pole shoes can be fitted safely and easily using basic tools in your workshop. MSA Pro Lift and Mag Switch Lifting Magnets are designed to have a clean break of magnetic flux at the off position. We ensure the highest industry safety standard for our industrial lifting magnets while making sure they are easy to use.